Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about uh, a tip uh, which is going to enable you to become more profitable in uh, your design practice uh, or freelance uh, design business uh, and that is to essentially learn how to work uh, faster because uh, most people are actually focusing on uh, getting the higher ticket clients uh, or maximizing their deals and that is all good, that is definitely something that you want to do as a freelancer or as a business owner. But uh, one of the things uh, which uh, I don't really see a lot of emphasis, uh, especially from new designers, is becoming really efficient at what you do. And I know this might sound uh, uh, maybe not as exciting or you know your first thoughts might be of uh, uh, just becoming like a, a workaholic and you know working like really fast and uh, really trying to you know maximize and uh, squeeze yourself but uh, that's not really the case what uh, I'm really focusing on uh, in this video is uh, it's going to be essentially two concepts in order to really become more efficient and work faster First one is mastery of your design software and uh, all the tools which you're using on a day-to-day -day basis, really. And uh, the second part uh, is going to be on plugins. Now, let's say that you focus on Sketch and that you use Sketch as your primary tool. Now, what most designers are going to do is uh, they're going to learn uh, you know, the basics of Sketch, uh, maybe go to, to an intermediate level, but not a lot of designers are going to really go on the advanced features of Sketch and really understand the uh, minute intricacies because usually this is like advanced topics and it can be boring faster and uh, that's why, you know, with, with this knowledge, don't get me wrong, you can do like 95% of the work and this is like a 5% advantage but what it does is that it's going to enable you to become faster because you're going to essentially be able to tackle projects in different ways and see opportunities and possibilities where other designers who, are just, who just have this knowledge um, are going to have. So one, one of the biggest things which uh, um, I stress, especially when it comes to, to this part, is for example, learning all of the keyboard shortcuts. I cannot tell you how much uh, is going to help you to just take, uh, for example, a few days uh, and uh, just focus on memorizing and learning keyboard shortcuts. So one of the exercises which I used to do is uh, to actually, you know, I, th I think I spent like two weeks uh, where the first thing in the morning, uh, which I did when I was in front of the computer, not literally the first thing in the morning, but when it went on my computer, the very first thing was to revise uh, keyboard shortcuts and uh, literally like exercise, it's like going to the gym. So I approached it from that mindset, just, you know, using keyboard shortcuts over and over and over again, because uh, once you do that, uh, I, I can't really put it into words uh, how much uh, even like daily tasks are going to become easier. Like, um, and this is, this is especially clear when, uh, uh, for example, I migrate from uh, a design software, which I know to some to another one, which is similar, which, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a similar software, but I don't know the keyboard shortcuts. And everything, you know, takes a bit more effort, a bit more time, and it all adds up. <clears throat> so that would be my very first recommendation to learn the software inside out. And uh, look, guys, I think that as designers, we have it easier than developers because developers like coding languages can become like a Pandora box of like constant learning. And it's really, really complex and uh, or at least it can get really, really complex. But when it comes to the design softwares, I think that we have an advantage. So we really have to take our time and uh, focus on mastering the software and not just learning it from a high level. And uh, this includes also the keyboard shortcuts because that's really going to help you out. And uh, also another thing which is really important is learning plugins and literally take the time to browse the internet or browse the plugin library and try a lot of different plugins and uh, get in the habit of uh, 
thinking whenever you're doing a design project, is there a plugin that can facilitate or enable me to speed up the process? And uh, I can tell you, um, I did a lot of plugin research, testing, and uh, I really got into the habit of using plugins. That uh, in and of itself can make uh, um, a, a project which may, might take another design like three hours, I can do in one, and boom, I just triple the profits. So you can see how easy it is uh, to make more money if you actually take the time and uh, do this. And uh, I can tell you guys like <laughs> the amount of time where I knew a set of plugins, a set of workflows in my mind um, when approaching a project where that project, uh, you know, took me like so much less to make and it was instantly like really profitable. I'm talking about even like occasions where I made hundreds of dollars in one hour just because uh, um, and it was like a task with a series of like workflows and plugins combinations, which I knew since uh, I took the time to do all of this exercise and, you know, I made like really good profits. So this is going to pay dividends. And uh, especially if you're a freelancer, especially if you're working by project, because uh, time is money and uh, this is super, super important. So don't be lazy when it comes to this part. This is, um, this is really going to help you out. And it's not something that I see most people talking about, but it's not really like a, a huge investment. It costs zero money because it, you don't need to like invest in, you know, crazy amount of like, uh, course, like um, all this information is, is available for free or for cheap courses, you know, 30 bucks courses. Like it's, it, it's not that big of a deal and uh, it doesn't take a lot of time either it's just about making that uh, uh, that commitment to do maybe like 10 20 30 minutes each and every day for like two weeks and you're already ahead of the curve and if you do it for a month you're way ahead of the curve and uh, you know just just keep it in mind so i would definitely recommend this to uh, all new designers, intermediate designers, and even seasoned designers. So yeah, hope this helps. And uh, if you're interested in other videos on UI UX, check out my channel. I have over 300 videos. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next 